Navigating the chemical requirements of the Model Aquatic Health Code is an important task, yet can be a challenging one. Here's a brief overview of everything you need to know. First, disinfectants are the primary tool for keeping recreational water safe and pathogen-free. This includes water used in public pools and hot tubs, aquatic facilities, water parks, splash pads, and more. Other water balance chemicals are used to protect pool infrastructure, increase the effectiveness of disinfectants, or to increase pool depth visibility and overall just to make pool water look better and cleaner. The Model Aquatic Health Code, known by many by its acronym MAHC, or MAC for short, is a model pool code created by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. It requires that chemicals used to keep water clean and pathogen-free are also safe for bathers and swimmers themselves. This code cites two NSF standards as the benchmark for measuring the safety of these chemicals, American National Standards NSF ANSI 50 and NSF ANSI 60. NSF 50 is the leading industry standard for pool equipment and chemicals and was first established in 1977. Up until 2015, this standard only included requirements for pool equipment. In 2015, the Joint Committee that maintains and updates this standard added testing criteria for the evaluation of pool chemicals, which addresses dermal contact, inhalation, and ingestion exposure, among other things. NSF 60, created in 1988, is the leading standard for measuring the health effects of drinking water treatment chemicals. Several chemicals that are used in both drinking water and recreational water treatment, including bleach and sodium carbonate, are covered under the scope of this standard. Chemicals with certification to NSF 50 or NSF 60 are considered safe for use under the MAC. These standards evaluate the safety of all chemical ingredients of a product, for example, that bleach dosing directions won't harm bathers, or a metal-based chelator won't cause skin rash, or that the proprietary active ingredient isn't harmful when ingested via pool water. These standards also measure and assess contaminants through chemical analysis. Both intentional ingredients and contaminants are assessed for skin absorption, ingestion, and vapor inhalation to ensure that the product as a whole is not harmful to human health. If a chemical product can't pass the evaluation, then it can't be used in pools, splash pads, or water parks under the MAC. This code also requires safety assessments for pool chemicals such as chlorine stabilizers, pH adjusters, and all the various clarifiers, flocculants, and defoamers used to keep water crystal clear. Furthermore, the code details requirements for sodium chloride used in popular saltwater pools. Additionally, disinfection chemicals such as calcium hypochlorite or trichloroisocyanurate must be EPA FIFRA registered for safety and effectiveness. Want more information on this code and its specific requirements for pool chemicals? Visit the CDC website to get a copy of the most recent version of the MAC. To find pool chemicals certified by NSF International to NSF 50, visit nsf.org and click the orange listings button in the top right corner. Scroll down near the bottom of the page and click on Recreational Water Facility Products to search by the criteria you're interested in. To find chemicals certified by NSF to NSF 60, go back to the main listings page and click the Drinking Water Treatment Chemicals link and filter your search as needed. Still have questions? Contact NSF, the leading provider of testing and certification for water treatment chemicals. You can find us online at nsf.org or by reaching out to us at the phone number or email on the screen.